All right, guys, welcome back to Let's Play Amori. In the last episode, I proved that you cannot beat Aubrey without the power of Stabby Stabby. And then we did more part-time jobs, because why not, I guess. Some of those part-time jobs is literally just helping people out around town and them being like, oh, you're a nice kid. Come to my home. And I'm like, ah, Stranger Danger, my favorite. Anyone down here? So supposedly, yep, there he is. Hey kids, you're here just in time to watch me fix this pipe once and for all. Come in, come in. Things are not great in here, my guy. Just a few more last minute adjustments, I can finally put this baby to rest. That. Ah, the sweet sound of silence at last. Yeah, you should probably replace the pipe. Rumble, rumble. Rats, I guess I'll try again tomorrow. <laughs> Here's one dollar, kids. Go get yourself some candy or something. I can afford a bandage that. You got trash. Some off-brand soda and ketchup packets. Mmm, smells like mac and cheese. There's candy down here. Mine, 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 mine. Let me have it. Unfinished combo meal. Looks moldy. Ew. Come on, guy. TV remote. Best not to touch it. Probably getting lost to you. Newspaper and magazines. They seem to have accumulated over a long period of time. Check out everyone's rooms. That is sticky. There's taffy stuck on the sheets. You'd rate it at 2 out of 10. Yeah, good. This bed is sticky, taffy, 2 out of 10, yeah. Books and comics about dinosaurs. Hell yeah. Give me the candy! bathtub. This guy does not fix anything. A scale, you can't remember the last time you used one of these. A bunch of tools. I'm in there. Grain juice in a can, so beer, got it. A bunch of tools. This bed is messy. You rate it a 3 out of 10. Alright. What a crappy house. Rats. There's no response. I believe that's the one that in two days I can go to a party at. Mm, looks like they're setting up for sermon. You don't really want to spend your last days here at the ch hanging out the church, do you? Why not? I hear they're cultists. Far away cemetery. Aubrey's old blue bike. I guess she's here. Oh, well, I'm not smart enough to put that together, so let's keep going on. You go on and on and on. Actually, can I... Yep, yeah, cool. Gotta get as much money as possible while I'm here. That way, just like the Maverick, I can afford some bitches. I don't know that there's a lot I can do at this point. Besides, you know, 
seeing if I can work more part-time jobs, which I probably can't do today. I'm guessing. Who knows? I can go feed the cat, and that's about it. $4 for my help. There we go. Where was the cat again? Oh, here's the cat. Is it just in one of the neighborhood areas? Oh, it's right there. No? Orange cat looks hungry. There we go. Her. Meow. The cat left a gift for you. You got trash. Yeah? I spent ten bucks on you and you give me something worth a dollar. Thank you. Anyway. So I need to find it once more today, I guess? I'll make a quick lap around town. Yeah, I guess I can't find the cat right now. Unfortunate. Oh, wait, is this the other cat? No, it's not the hungry cat, so it doesn't matter. Alright, just to be sure. Yeah, okay, once a day. Hope we meet again. It's still so funny to me. I know it's really stupid. It's a very like bomb the barrel joke. I find it funny. I don't know why, but this is actually kind of fun. Oh, to well. Gotta mess with everyone's cards. Alright, candy time. And then Kim advanced are probably around here somewhere. Oh, hey, there she is. Hurry, Vance, let's shove it in all our pockets before someone sees us. Hey, Kim, have you seen Aubrey anywhere? Shoot, it's that nerd kid. It's that nerd cow. Come on, Vance. We gotta go. Oh, hold on there. I don't think you paid for those. Get out of the way, nerd. You don't know me. Hey, hey. Come on. I'm not here to snitch. We just need to find Aubrey. You know where she is? Huh? Aubrey? I don't know anything about that. Even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. <sighs> I've had enough of this for today. Kim, let's make a deal. You tell me where Aubrey is, and I won't turn you in for stealing all that candy. I thought you said you weren't a snitch, and I don't need to be if you tell me where Aubrey is. You two again? I thought I told you never come back in here, smiley smiley. Oh. And over the stolen candy. Don't make me call the cops on you kids, smiley smiley. We've been busted. Fine, here's your stupid candy. Come on, Vance, let's get out of this dump. What a jerk. <laughs> Serves you right. Wait, how we find where Aubrey is now? Good job, Kel. Uh, come on, Sonny, let's follow them. Welcome. We hope our candy makes you smile. I told you, curtsy. It's Smiley. Smiley. Yes, ma'am. Hi, hi, it's me, the happy and cheery Miss Candace. What do you like today, Smiley Smiley? Mmm. Caramel apple. Yes, I know it's stupid to be spending my money on candy, but who knows? They could have a purpose. Or else, okay.
All right. Let go. Hold up one sec, Sunny. I think I have an idea. Sorry for the hold up. Let's go catch up to Kim and Vance. You're thinking the same thing I was thinking when I bought this candy. Also, didn't you leave your wallet at home? Isn't that why I had to lend you 20 bucks? How do you buy this? Grumble, grumble. Sorry, Vance. No candy today. No, not again. I don't know how much longer I can last. We're gonna die. Let's just go home. We're gonna be late for dinner. Wait, Kim. I have something for you. You again, Kel? What the heck do you want, you bully? Tell us where Aubrey is, and I'll give you this whole big bag of candy. Really? The whole bag? I mean, wait. You can't buy us off with candy. What do you take us for? Oh, no, Kim. We haven't had candy for an entire week. And there's a whole bag right in front of us. We don't even have to pay for it. Can you at least ask if he has any taffy in there? Stop it, Vance. We have to stay strong. When we go to Dad's house, we'll be able to have all the candy we want. Okay. I'll do it for you, sis. Kim. Vance. I'm waiting. Heh. <laughs> I could accept candy from a bunch of nerds. Oh, man, really? I was sure that would work. This is a waste of time. Let's get out of here. Wait. Please, Kim. You're the only lead we've got. Please take the big bag of candy. We we even have taffy in here. Did someone say taffy? I see. That changes everything. Fine. Do you really want to know that badly, huh? Let's settle this with our fists. If you win, I'll tell you where Aubrey is. And if we win, you give us that big bag of taffy and never talk to us ever again. Wait a sec. There's no need to fight. If you just tell me where she is, I'll give you the whole bag. But I want to fight. Come on, put them up, you two. It's time to duke it out. Uh, what is it with you guys in fighting? Well, I guess we have no choice. Come on, Sonny. You know the drill. I'll show you with the sizes and everything. I'm not about to lose to nerds like you. Why does everyone target Kel first? Your face annoys me. Cut your damage down some. Still nerds. It's like they don't even realize I'm here. Honestly, kind of rude. I wanted with some taffy. Grumble, 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 grumble. Can't believe we lost. Never let. We can never let Aubrey know about this. Come on, Kim. We gotta go home. 
It's almost time for dinner. Mom's gonna be really mad if we're late. Shoot, let's get out of here. Hey, wait, where do you think you're going? We won, so you need to tell us where Aubrey is. Oh, yeah, that's right. Hmm. Aubrey's at the church. The last one, the one near her house. Huh? Aubrey's at church? Hey, don't get me. You're the one who wanted to know. Also, if she asked who told you, tell her it wasn't me. Say it was Michael or something. Come on, Kim. We've gotta go. We've gotta scoot. You know how mom gets when we're late. Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. Let's go. Smell you later. Nerds. I'm nuts. They took the big bag of candy while I wasn't looking. Those two have got some sticky fingers. Oh well. At least we know where Aubrey is now. Or at least I think we do. Can't really imagine Aubrey at church, but I'll believe when I see it. Guess what I can do is I can head into hobbies. A brutal CD. A chill CD. A lively CD. A celestial CD. And a dynamic CD. Um. Playing cards. Super. Yeah, okay. Sure. What do we get? A three star. You got a pink keychain. I'm assuming it goes up to five stars. Small candies, brand new game console, looks so shiny and sleek. I don't see any benefit to playing that game. My favorite novel just got a comic. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I remember talking. Bunch of small figurines. Okay. So the only things I can purchase are the gotcha, the CDs, and I can play that game. Also, I can probably buy sodas. I could afford all the CDs. I can literally only buy one at a time. Give these two a shot for now. Okay. Dynamic. I'm right. Take pride in being a musical connoisseur. I know the song. Cover of Good for Health, Bad for Imagination by Voya. White Space by Clover and Sea Life.
only have 30 bucks left, I'd be spending all my money on that, which is not the best choice. I can do that another day, probably. Hopefully. I guess I can save for now. I guess I can go heal up Kel for a few bucks. So, I have a first aid kit ready, so... Spend three bucks on bandages. No idea what you're on about. Um, I did manage to find one of the sacred tunes and whatnot. That way, I can uh, get into the dream world. Or uh, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I just bought a couple songs and listened to them over at uh, Gino's Pizza. I'm assuming that's mostly what I can do today. So I guess we'll go, you know, hang out with Aubrey. Here we are. This really is the last place I would expect her. I'm kind of skeptical, actually. It might be a trap. Open the door, we'll take a peek. Hmm. Looks normal to me. I think they're in the middle of a sermon. Oh, there she is on the right. Hmm. She's just sitting there. All normal. So weird. Yeah, I'd feel pretty bad about interrupting this. We should probably wait until the sermon is over or something. I did feed the cat. I have fed the cat once. I cannot find it a second time. Hold on, Sunny. Let's wait here until the sermon is over. Um, and I did not get a pet rock. I didn't see anywhere to buy a pet rock. All right. I guess I just got to stand still for now. Yeah, I fed the cat. It ran off, leaving me a piece of trash and proceeded to just disappear from the world, I guess. And yeah, never found a pet rock because I don't know, man. I'm now to leave. Standing here doesn't seem to do anything, so. I slowly open the door. Oh, I didn't expect you to just walk in like that, Sonny. Well, there's no turning back now. Come on, we have to be really quiet. Side rooms? No. Just the design of the place. Shouldn't disturb others during a sermon. There she is on the right. Let's walk to the pew behind her. Aubrey. Psst. Aubrey. doing here we want to give back we want you to give back basil's photo album you're still on about that none of your business really none of my business we all used to be f best friends but now this is none of my business yeah cal exactly we used to be friends you know mary'd be really sad to hear that Really? You really want to bring Mary into this? Who cares what Mary thinks? Mary's dead. Aubrey, seriously? What's wrong with you? I get that you have new friends now, but you can't just forget your old friends like that. My old friends? My old friends weren't there for me when I needed them. So that's what this is about? When Mary passed on, we were all dealing with our own stuff. We were kids. It was hard. You'd think it's all so simple. You've always been so simple, Kel. So what if I am? I'd rather be simple than be like you. How could you do that to Basil? You know how important his photo album is to him. It's important to all of us. That doesn't mean you can just steal it. Is that what Basil told you? 
I'm the one keeping it safe. What are you talking about? That photo album belongs to Basil, and I'm not leaving until you agree to give it back. <sighs> You're so persistent. When Mary died, you moved on so fast. You know why I come here every week? Even after all this time, I'm still trying to find some peace. But it doesn't look like that's happening today. We haven't talked in four years, Kel. A lot changes in four years. You and Sunny think you can just barge back into my life and tell me what to do? Don't be so naive. You might look different and act different, Aubrey. But you're still the same person. <laughs> the Aubrey you knew is long gone. And the Aubrey that was your friend, she's long gone too. Okay, fine. I get that you're angry. Like, if it's an apology you want here, I'm sorry, okay? I should have been there for you when we lost Mary. No. I won't accept this. Wait. Where are you going? I can't let you go until you promise to give Basil his photo album back, you thief. What's happening? Basil? Isn't that the boy who... I've seen Aubrey and her friend's boy. Now she's stealing as well. Oops. You think you're the good guy, don't you, Kel? And I'm the big bad boy, here to terrorize poor defenseless Basil. You're the one hanging out with your psychopath that carries around a knife. Now's not the time to do this, Aubrey. You don't get to say that. You're the one who barged in here. I already said I was sorry for everything. If you want me to be a bully, then I'll be a bully. You two better come at me quick, or else I'll come at you first. She has a bat in the middle of this? Appropriate for church. Can't go any. Dang it, I was hoping you could do it twice. I can't believe she would bring a weapon in here. How uncivilized. Why are you here? What do these delinquents think they're doing? This is a place of worship. Someone needs to stop them. Where are their parents? Why? Why now? That girl's a threat to this neighborhood. There's no hope for sinners like her. Uh, forget it. You two aren't worth my time. Ever since her father left, She's so uncontrollable. It's disrespectful. I feel bad for her mother. Shoot. I know she's been kind of messed up lately, but I still feel sorry for her. Maybe this was a bad idea. Yeah, no duh.
Can you see that? Aubrey just dumped something into her trash can. Let's go check it out. Whoa, I don't believe it. It's Basil's photo album. I can't believe she would just throw it out like that. It's a good thing we looked through this trash can. But on the bright side, at least we have Basil's photo album now, and it only took us half a day, too. Talk about teamwork. How about a high five, Sonny? Up high. High five Cal. Achievement get. Let's give this back to Basil before it gets dark. He'll be so happy when he sees it. Aubrey. I guess before we go turn this in, let's look around town to see if we can find a hungry cat and a guess at the park. I think I found the true love of my life today. I hope he notices me. <laughs> if it isn't Kel and Sonny, you may have witnessed my humiliation earlier today, but now is the time that I, the Maverick, could redeem myself once again. What is this back in about now, Michael? Uh, curse you and your cheeky attitude. Kel, I challenge thee to a race. Really? A race? I don't know, I'm pretty fast. Heh, <laughs> that's what you say now, but just wait until you see the results of my training. I'm being serious, Michael. It's only fair to warn you, I'm fast, like really fast. Hey, I know, to make things a bit more even, you can use your scooter if you want. Don't you dare patronize me. Come on, Kel, you've been talking, you've been talking the talk, but can you walk the walk? Why don't you show me a real challenge? Uh, I'm gonna have to do this, aren't I? Sorry, Sonny. This will be real quick. Ready? Set? Go! Wow. <laughs> Wait. I... I want a rematch. I don't think so, Michael. I mean, it's getting kind of late, isn't it? Please, I must defend my honor. Maybe another time. It means Sunny are gonna go now. See you later, Michael. You kill. You haven't seen the last of the Maverick. So, I'm looking for the orange cats. Hey, uh, so how have you been doing lately? Doing good. Coming to the park by myself helps me relax and gather my thoughts. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, makes perfect sense. I'm doing good. Coming to the park by myself helps me relax and gather my thoughts, though I'm still glad I bumped into you. Oh, yeah? That's really cool. I'm, uh, I'm glad I bumped into you, too. Shovel, orange metal cat, a teddy bear, a mongoose, pail and shovel, a slide, smells like rusty metal, the filth of the planet, it makes me sick, how oh, I wish I could just wipe it all away.
look at this graph. You can see coins at the bottom. Ooh, money. Yeah, I'm gonna say the other one's Mikhail because this one's Michael. Is there any purpose to me donating to this guy? from each of these guys. That's garbage. Do not drink that stuff. Throw away your orange juice. Hey, that show him. So. <laughs> that was a waste of two bucks. Nice to see you can't have orange juice and apple juice. What a piece of garbage. Open book on the table. It looks like a manual how to get rich quick. Hey, this isn't work related. And just to double check. I don't see anywhere you can buy rocks. Oh, I have to talk, damn. I usually go for 25. Yeah, sure. We all love Pet Ross. Whoa. Hold on a sec, Sonny. Is that Pet Rock you just bought? Wow, I don't believe it. This is really strange since we haven't played since we were kids. But it so happens I have mine, too. Right here. Such a weird coincidence, huh? Hey, I have an idea. Why don't we battle with our pet rocks? You still remember how to play, right? No. Eh, don't worry. Even if you don't, it's real easy to catch on. You'll get it in no time. Now let's clash. Are you ready to clash? Ah, it's rock, paper, scissors. Rock. Paper, because it's a rock. Paper. <laughs> Please always pick rock. <laughs> You're such an idiot. <laughs> Oh shoot, I lost. I guess I'm pretty rusty. Well, that's okay. You were always the one who's good at video games anyway. I guess you're the same old Sunny after all. I know it's been a while, so let me give you a refresher. Pet Rocks is a game where you and your pets uh, team up in battle or clash. If you wear my, your pet rock as a charm, you can find other players to pet rocks and challenge them. From what I hear, the reigning champ lives somewhere around here, but no idea what they look like. Kind of mysterious, right? Huh? Who knows? Maybe we'll get to meet them one day. Hmm, hmm, hmm. You found it? I have no idea what I'm looking at here. Hey, you. You're young, right? Could a young guy like you help out an old guy like me? It's my son Jesse's 10th birthday tomorrow, and I'm hoping to get him something he'll actually like. Can you look around the store and pick out something for me? Huh. I can battle that person. Um... I'm guessing it's gonna be this game. Rated M for mature. Hmm. Ten-year-olds would love that. Alright. 
See you, man. He loved this cash register. In this cutout of space, the Captain Space Boy. Oh, so you have a pet rock. Do you want to clash? Okay, I've been training my uh, tomato girl since I was a kid. I won't lose to you. Are you ready to clash? Tomato. You smash tomatoes. Alright. Please tell me you aren't, like, only gonna pick rock as well. Okay, good. Um... It's a little rock, paper, scissors. I have no idea. Okay. Oh, something just fell down. Yay, we did it! And you can win, Tomato Girl. Rematch. So she seems to pick paper more often, but occasionally picks rock. Okay, start out with a paper because that's how she started last time. Okay. Otherwise, I'll just do paper. All right, scissors. Ouch. Scissors again. Let's see if I can combo you. Yep, wombo combo. Bum, 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 bum. Ah, darn, it's okay, Tomato Girl. It's not your fault. You tried your best. This place is kind of small, but has a lot of over. Okay, same thing as earlier. It would seem that the only thing that I can actually interact with for this guy is the rated M game. And I'm like, mm, I know your time world would love it. Definitely not what you should be doing. Seashell? By the seashore? Yeah, this game's price tag is, ugh, my wallet. Uh, well, as long as my son likes it, it'll be worth it. Super Ultra Sprout Mole Eater, Revenge of the Moles 3, a future classic. Hey, thanks for the help, pal. You know, I could use a consultant for things like this. My son doesn't like to talk about his hobbies with me, but I need to keep up with all the newfangled stuff somehow. I live in a small house in the street south of here. It's the one with the brown roof. Please come visit sometime. Alright, neat. A new house I can just waltz into whenever I want. Seashell. She sells seashores by the seashells. <laughs> Hell yeah. Anything different in any other places? My family are supposed to start eating healthy this week, but the smell of Gino's pizza is so tempting. Uh, maybe something greasy is okay once more. It absolutely is. And if you feel like you need some pizza, you can actually make it at home. It's not too hard and it's a lot of fun. I'm Rai. Take pride in being a musical connoisseur of sorts. You have a pet rock, too? I just got into pet rocks not too long ago. Mine is still in the beginning stages, but I'm sure it'll be powerful someday. Yeah, let's do it. Are you ready to clash? Oh, I guess I'm doing rock. That's what I get for button mashing. At least broke the combo, if nothing else. Why do some people only pick one thing? Darn, your pet rock's pretty strong. I guess me and Bunny still have a long way to go before we catch up to you. It's pretty silly, but, you know, whatever. Oh, I just realized the point I'm at. 
All right, guys, next time, let's play Amori. I guess what we're going to do is we're going to finish the day. Um, I can't imagine this taking more than like 40 minutes to get through it all. My guess is I'll probably be done with the day within the first 10 minutes and back into dreamland again. So back to Kirby. Bye. <laughs>